word. They ain't ready for what we about to bring back. They ain't, they ain't ready, ready for, for Tyler, Tyler with the green, green hat. hat. They ain't ready for the Wayne, Wayne Sack. Sack. Niggas, like fuck this nigga talking about, nigga. Yo. We gonna die, legend. I hope you stacking. I hope you putting some money to the side, my nigga, and paying your taxes. Yeah. I hope you not incriminating you and your niggas on songs if you trapping. I hope you dressing yourself and not following niggas' opinions on fashion. I hope them cars that you driving ain't renting just to get some comments on grab. Oh shit, they all because you not the man. No self esteem. Higher than the lean. Standing real. You fucking wicked, you robbing your plug? I'm not here to judge. Because apparently you doing your thing. Yeah. 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 Y
He, they think everybody thinks Tyler the Creator is the only rich person in their group, but he just said everybody else around him got money. I sit in room with a to-do list pro See to do and play acoustic shoe Sit around and look at me feeling foolish Rolling up and make excuses Fucking fuck. <laughs> Basically he said he sat in his room Making music, got a to-do list This is what I'm gonna do today And then he's saying you All you do is sit there and criticize And type on the keyboard saying his music sucks that's it. That, that's what he said. I sit in room with a to do list pro. See to do and play acoustic. He play acoustic guitar. Look at me feeling. Look at him. Up and make excuses. Fuck, fuck them niggas. <laughs> Everybody making excuses. Why can't I make it? All he does is do his own thing. Blah blah blah. Why the fuck they wanna fuck him? Why the fuck? Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Suck a dick. Yeah. How's that? Cool. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, this is rap music, bro. If you didn't understand it, you just gotta listen to more of it. That's literally it. Uh boop, 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 boop. Alright, we about to start. We about to start the video. Or start the videos. What up, Pug? What you up to, Pug? What up, kids? This shit ass. It, it, if it's ass, it's because you're not you're not used to hearing music like that. That's literally it. You used to hearing what? Why? Why be? Why be? Young boy, young boy never broke again. All right, we about to do daily clips. Uh, about to do daily, daily, daily. Cause I didn't do the daily yet. We're gonna do some daily clips and then we're gonna watch some funny videos. Or like, I'm gonna give y'all like two hours of content. We're gonna watch some neurosama and all that good shit. All right. Daily VTuber clips, bro. Oh, let's go. All right. Oh, we got the boy Gerard T. Rexford as the first clip. Bro, that's how I know. Bro, Gerard on his shit, bro. He already got clippers, bro. He already got clippers. He's doing his job. Let's go. Shout out to uh, Shark. You keeping up with the news? I mean, I just did a news video last night, but that's about it. What, is there a new one? Is this the new time slot? This is the new... This is not a new time slot. So what happened is... Um, I stopped streaming like really during the night. I just started recording during the night and I do want to stream for you guys. So right now it's 12. I'm not going to be streaming at this time because it's latest. It's starting to get super late for the Americans. And I think the Europeans are okay with this time. But uh, the Asians, it's midday. But Americans, like they about to go to bed soon. So uh, I'm streaming right now. I'm, I normally want to stream from like 10 a.m. To, to noon. But like I got shit to do IRL in like two hours, so I'm gonna be out all day. So that's why I'm I'm streaming now. I'm gonna do as many videos as possible. Good Sean Clipper, bro. I'm trying to get a Clipper. I'm trying to get Lily Kim to, to do my clips. Uh, so whenever Lily Kim wants to do them, uh, Lily Kim's gonna do them. Wrong ah! Fuck! I thought I thought I had it. What? Oh my god! I can't. I know, did we lose? No! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> that no! boy Gerard loud as hell, boy. I thought I thought we were doing a pretty good job. Bro, you're just not a pretty good job. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, toddlers really do play this. Kids wear kids really play kids. this. Bro, I'm just entertaining them, you know? I can't bl What you mean you playing with the kids now? Oh my load in one <laughs> shot. I can't show them how great I am yet. Damn, I'm getting Bro, you losing the kids, bro. Let's be real. You're losing the kids. Right. Scamani's bullying me. Altair's bullying me. Octavio's teasing me. My goodness! You toss me with Minecraft Get the in the background. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Please, let me enjoy this stream just this once. It's already a shame that I'm getting bullied. I don't want to. I don't want this shame to go on any further. Actual. No. I wonder what this. You know, I wonder what Gerard sounds like in two times speed. Go on any further. Actual. No. Skill issue, motherfucker. Oh my god. You know what? This is way more entertaining at two times speed. You're so right. Two times speed, bro. That's where we're doing. 
speed you up if we ever go on a collab. Altair did a declaration of war. If Let me know if two times speed is too fast. We would fucking put you down. Yeah, there's a declaration of war. I will put you fucking down. <laughs> because I'm his voice. I'm way better than you. The voice will carry me. Oh, in the princess, shit. In the princess way matter. And all the way until the finish line. All right, let's do it again. Damn, right, bro. Bro said he got a declaration of war. Okay, okay. Let me put a phone. It's time to beat these allegations. I've seen <laughs> all right, Altair. I'll see you next time. Thank you for dropping by, by the way. Thank you. Mwah. Arigato. See, I, I'm still graceful. I still respect uh, graceful. Mwah. Respectfully. Graceful. <laughs> but don't beat me up, though. Don't beat, don't me, beat up. me up, right? though. I'm just kidding. If you manage to beat me up, IRL. <laughs> Damn. <I'm sorry. laughs> Imagine getting beat up by Altair IRL. It was just That's a joke. Crazy. It was just a joke. It was That's just a joke. Crazy. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it again. One more. One more. I refuse. Do you do martial arts? Oh, my God. Do you do oh, martial arts? God. Yes. Uh, no. Yes. Do you does, do martial arts? Arso, Altair do you does, do does martial arts? Yo, if uh, if Regis Altair does martial arts, bro, Regis Altair, I will spar with you if you ever want to, bro. If we ever meet in the same place and we're cool with each other's identity, bro, I will meet you in the ring, bro, and we can just do a couple rounds. We can do like three rounds, two minutes, bro, whatever you want to do, whether it's jujitsu, traditional boxing, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, whatever, bro. Let's just have fun, bro. Two minutes, three rounds, bro. Let's go. It's already, bro, I already put it out there. I already I put it out there. <laughs> I already put uh, it out there. I'm just joking, all right? I'm, just I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> we're bros here. We're, we're yeah, all we're bros. Sides, baby. We're bro, all sides. We're bro, bro, you can be bros and still fight each other. What, what is this? What, Gerard, don't tell me you're scared of fighting people, bro. Oh, my we're God. All, we're all brothers, you know that. We're yeah, you can be friends and still fight each other, bro. You never play. Bro, everybody that got a younger or older sibling, bro, did you or did you not fight your sibling growing up? Bro, I used to fight the shit out of my brother when I was growing up, bro. Me and my brother would fight all the time, bro. All the time. I'd be putting that little motherfucker in headlocks, bro. Like, all the time. Bro, all the time. We're, a lot. Well, exactly. Well not fight, bro. bro, like, it's okay to fight. Oh, your toes. Yeah, that's love. Yeah, that's love. You fight. Yeah. The reason... Taekwondo... That basically... Bro, if anyone tells me they know Taekwondo, all I know is they're quick. They're quick with their kicks, so you need to get close to them. Get close, take them to the ground, jujitsu, boom, game. So if you know Taekwondo, that don't stop me. That don't stop me. You throw a kick, I grab that shit, I sweep your leg, I take you to the ground, I put you in a leg lock. Like, bro, in Taekwondo, all I gotta do is catch you. Basically, you just told me you quick as fuck. That's all you told me. You quick as fuck, I keep my guard on my head so I don't get knocked out. I get close, I grab you, I take you down. That's basically what you just told me when you told me you know Taekwondo. That's all you told me. That Taekwondo don't mean shit. Especially if that's the only thing you know. Oh my god, he's black belt. Bro, uh, black belt Taekwondo does not mean shit if that's the only thing you know, bro. You need to learn more than just Taekwondo. And I respect the black belt. If you got the black belt, I respect that immensely. It takes a long time to get a black belt. And, and, well, I ain't gonna say that because some gyms, low key, some gyms, they just promote you because they want you to stay and keep giving them money. Okay? Let's keep it real. Some martial arts gyms are bullshit. But if you really went to a legitimate martial arts Taekwondo program and you worked your way in the black belt, I immensely respect it, but I'm still taking your ass to the ground. Like, like, <laughs> like bro, especially if that's all you know is black belt Taekwondo, I'm taking your ass to the ground. Like, there it is. <laughs> uh, I that's only it. Belt. That yeah, in Taekwondo, they only do points anyway. Bro, I saw somebody get in trouble because they kicked somebody too hard in Taekwondo. And they were like, okay, you're disqualified. The other guy won, even though he's knocked out. Like, Taekwondo, sports-wise, is some bullshit. Martial arts-wise, it's okay. Like, you, when we rank martial arts in the martial arts community, we don't rank it really um, based off just how effective it is. You know, it also depends on, like, the, the sport and whatnot. It's not just how, how would this work in a real fight? Because if you were to break down every single martial art in the world with how good is it in a real fight, some of the most deadly martial arts would be off the table because if you kill somebody, you go to jail. You see what I'm saying? Some of the most deadly martial arts you would not you you technically cannot use them because they are designed to kill people and they're designed for war zones. So you probably wouldn't even be in a situation to use some of the martial arts like there's martial arts dedicated literally for like taking somebody's AK-47, sweeping them under the leg and then shooting them with their own gun. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to use that in a street fight? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, a, a combo of boxing and jujitsu, in my opinion, is the best. See, and it's very hard to say that. Like, it's 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 very hard to say that because there. I think there's more combos that could be more deadly than just traditional boxing and jujitsu. I think there's a lot more combinations that could also be deadly. Another good one would be uh, if you know Muay Thai, because Muay Thai you work in the clinch. So if you put Muay Thai on top of on top of traditional boxing and jujitsu, bro, you'd be probably you'd probably be the baddest man on the planet. 
due to ju- uh, due to boxing, you have the the speed, you have the the strength, you have the athleticism, and you have you work on your reach, getting closer. And then jujitsu, of course, is ground game, especially Brazilian jujitsu, deadly ground game. Judo could also work because judo, you get closer, you take them to the ground using their own way with judo, then you get on top of them with jujitsu. That is a deadly combo as well. But judo by itself is pretty fucking useless. Same thing with uh, Aikido. Aikido in Aikido. If you were the perfect Aikido master, bro, and you use Aikido to the way that it is, if you were the perfect Aikido master, you'd be the deadliest person on the planet. Bare none, you'd be the perfect person on the planet when it comes to fighting. If you knew Aikido, deadly perfect. But Aikido is like not a thing that's possible because humans mess up. So if you try Aikido in the street, it might work, it might not work. But if you only know Aikido, okay, that you, you knock the person to the ground, they're just gonna get back up. Especially if they drunk, they're just gonna get right back up. <laughs> Shit, never mind, never mind. Let's just play games, man. <laughs> I'm scared. Now I'm scared. I'm sorry, Altair. If you're still here, I'm sorry. I never knew you were such a fucking kick-ass. I'm sorry. Never again. Get, 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 get. Ah, I lost. Man, I'm so mad I could have met Altair in Vietnam. Dude, Altair's been fucking up my game. He's doing psychological warfare. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. He's... Did she come out and put There's a bit on that? Oh, what? Kickboxing, wrestling for me? Kickboxing is really good on top of wrestling. Hmm. <laughs> I think it'd be really good. I think kickboxing and wrestling is good for definitely like street fights. Because kickboxing, boom, you piece them up. Wrestling, you just throw them to the ground and you walk away. Jiu-jitsu for the streets, I don't think is legit. Because whenever you're trying to do jiu-jitsu on the, on the fucking concrete ground versus the, 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 the mat, the, those are two different things, bro. If you try and put somebody in a fucking lock in jiu-jitsu, you might slam your head on a fucking bar stool and crack your skull open. You feel me? So even jiu-jitsu ain't perfect for the streets. Jiu-jitsu is great for the mat and is good for like a, like a spar. If you're going to spar or you're going to be in the cage, Muay Thai, boxing, jiu-jitsu is perfect. Jiu-jitsu is not good for ground combat in real life because the bar might be slippery. It might be sticky. Your head might hit the concrete. Their head might hit the concrete and then they die and then you go to jail. So wrestling will probably be the best, bro. Wrestling and kickboxing is probably the best combo for, for street fights. If there's no weapons involved, because once people get mad because they get their ass whooped, they usually pull out a knife or a gun. And this is why I say the best uh, best way to uh, the best martial arts teach you to just de-escalate or just walk away. bro. Self-defense is way better than learning how to kick somebody's ass because anybody can be a badass until a uh, gun sama comes out and then your ass is fucked. <laughs> your ass is that black belt taekwondo. Hey, welcome to Shank City. Bomb, bomb, bomb. You done. <laughs> you done. <laughs> Ain't no Taekwondo saving you from the Shank, baby. Fucking my game up. Oh, shit. It's not exactly the best position. Sambo was taught in school? Bro, if Sambo was taught in your school, that's fucking awesome. That sounds like some Russian shit. They definitely should teach Sambo in school. I think it'd be very useful. But Sambo... Sambo is one of the martial arts that are like fucking crazy and deadly as well. Those can be deadly. Like I've seen Sambo when used against weapons like that shit can really work. But when are you going to use that in real life? <laughs> and if everybody knows Sambo, then what the fuck? What is the point? We got a fucking leader here. We got Shikamani up my ass. We got the chat up my ass. Big boxing in the game. I can't fucking win. Unless there's a gun. <laughs> yeah, <Stop>. gun. <laughs> like, bro, especially in America, everybody got a gun now, bro. Like chaotic. If we ever go to the streets of LA and you drunk as fuck trying to challenge people, I'm going to be like, bro, stop. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro, because everybody in LA got something. <laughs> it ain't worth it, bro. <laughs> it is not worth it, bro. <laughs> That's why I say I only I like sparring. I, I, ne- I never want to be in the cage. I never want to be in a street fight. Call me pussy if you want to, bro. I, look, bro, you get in one professional fight and you leave that bitch injured the rest of your life. I'm good. No, thank you. No, thank you. You get Parkinson's. Nah, I'm good. I will spar with you. We can wear pads and we can go for three rounds, two minutes, and that's it. That is, that is fun. That is enough for me, bro. I don't need to prove I'm Baki Honda to nobody. I am good. <laughs> and Texas, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, bro. Please get away with this. Can I please? Bro, we on daily clips. We still on the first clip, bro. Why y'all distracting me? Talking about martial arts. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, was that a gargoyle? Holy shit, a gargoyle clip. All right, we're gonna watch this. Let's speed up a little bit. 
course she's not streaming. She's she's on the freaking she's in the sea. January twentieth. What else have I been up to? Oh, lots of stuff came out. Shinkiro. Did you guys like Shinkiro? Wabi Sabi. It Lola? was good. I liked Holy it. Holy moly! Freaking Honeyworks? Are you kidding me? What's Honeyworks? What you been doing? Other than just working on stuff in Hollow Life, I'll be honest with you. I've been a little burnt out trying to get over that. I've been watching Hollow Life stuff, working on Hollow Life stuff. I mean, y'all got to remember, Gargura has been doing internet stuff for a long time. She's been doing internet stuff before Hololive. So eventually the Hololive wonder and flair will probably, you know, run out a little bit. I mean, apparently she's close to everybody else. So it's not that bad going to work with your friends every day. But, you know, you get a little bit tired of it. You know, sometimes you just want to sit back, relax and watch from the background. Life Johnson in the building. Yo, what up, Johnson? Hey, this is my cousin. Roman Empire 9500. That's my cousin. Shout out to my cousin. He's been in my like my videos since yeah, back in the day, bro. Those videos are pretty gone. Pretty much gone, bro. Welcome pretty much me. gone. You can see him in the Save That Money video. It's members only. Again. Members only. I was thinking about how Hold on, I gotta uh I'm gonna give you mod. I'm gonna give you mod. Don't ban people though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you mod, don't ban people. I can add guests. Oh, get wait, what? Ah, right, boom. Just like that, he got a sword now. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, it's biased. <laughs> like, like, thank you. I, I said it earlier. I said, my darlings, and then my tongue curled, because I thought, no, 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 that's too Fucking weird. bitch! Like, ew, girl. Ew. What Excuse up, Yen? <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank pause? You. What? Pause? What? What'd I say? I said I gave him a mod, and it's bias. <laughs> really aggressive when Mume appeared. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am winning. Mume, let me in. <laughs> Mume, I'm at your door. What the fuck? Let me in. Round of applause. <laughs> Appreciate it, Ian. <laughs> Come here, yay! I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I can subscribe to a daily dose of Narissa. She is crazy. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's talk about the, the. Yo, Johnson, look at this shit. This is an AI. This is a complete AI. 100% AI. Like robot, watch watch what she does. Hey, yeah, every day we lit. Yeah, you can't tell me shit. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting rich. Voices, real quick. Okay, V1 voice is the voice you're listening to right now. Okay, V1 is the original neuro voice. Okay, now V2 was originally created. Okay, with the intention of um being an upgrade to neuro's voice. The problem with it was while it uh, while it sounded more natural and it has more emotion and it can do cool it things like it sounded more like a human than my music. It, it did. The problem was it didn't sound like Neuro. It was like a it was too new of a voice, too different. Like, uh, and like that's a, why we gave it to Evil. I am sorry, I didn't. Oh, sound Evil. Like me for you. Okay, so I was always wondering why Evil Evil sounded like a bit different. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> <She's a ball. laughs> Why the fuck did I put that in there? You. <laughs> Why the fuck yeah. did I put now, that in the there? With v Evil does sound better, but it's good that they have their own voices. Okay. I think. Is to to get the best of both worlds. My father's friend wanted to sentence. punish the arrogant judo guy who accidentally killed him with the first blow. Great guy, but too strong. Wait, what? Wait, what? Your dad accidentally killed a motherfucker? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that can that can happen. Uh, Just test like this stuff. Euro, have fun. Yeah. But have emotion. Experimentation is the greatest part of life, so fuck around and find out. And, and you might find you. No, I'm stopping. <laughs> yes. If Forsen asked me a question, I would ask him a question back. Nobody's talking about Forsen, bro. sticking out. Nice try, Vito. But anyway, listen. Here's where we are with V3, okay? V3. V3. Currently, um... Sounds like Neuro. Okay. Um, but it doesn't quite have the emotion and like quality of uh evil. But okay. it does sound like Neuro. Um, okay. which is the thing that we struggled with 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 V two. So that's good. Show us. Link, what do you think of it? Uh, yeah, let's see. Vision is, three. I hate showing you guys stuff that isn't finished. Yeah, it's not done. It's subject to change. change. Watch it get clipped, mm. and I'm gonna re have to read like. YouTube comments with the worst takes I've ever read in my entire life. Mm. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Well, watch, watch my video instead, bro. Watch my video instead. Get a I I'll show. give you a W take. I'll give you a W take. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? That is the... It's not I use for testing. It's not I. I feel like it's a... It's a it's good a, one. It's not um, So yeah, it sounds like Neuro. Yeah, it's Which I. is the goal. But yeah. it has no emotion. There's no punch to it. It just sounds like... 
It just sounds like words. There's no like emotional weight to it. She's not exclaiming or, or being uh, abrasive with it. She's just saying it. And it's like, there's no impact. So it's like, oh yeah, it's going to give the fucking chat a keg W. But what about somebody that can actually, you know, have more of a, <laughs> of a, a reaction than just keg W. You well, know that's what I'm a saying? good thing. But um, yeah, I'm, I still have some ideas on how I'm to do some uh, chores. All right, Pug. Prove the emotion and the quality, but uh, it's, it's a really fun Bro, Pug, one. stay cleaning. Pug, you stay cleaning your house. Shout out to Pug. If y'all want a man that has a clean house, Pug, I think, is up for grabs. I don't know if Pug has a, a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Like, it's, it's painful, but um, yeah, we're getting there. Don't um, do straight oh, yeah, punches um, to the oh, head. Wait, of course, mention. So, uh, don't punch. Don't punch people in the head unless you plan on killing them. There, that's the best. Ex- that's the best advice I can give to anybody. If you're in a fight in real life, do not punch them in the head unless you want to kill them. You can punch them in the face, but don't punch them in the head. Don't punch them in the temple. Don't punch them in the. You can punch them in the forehead. It's going to hurt you more than them. But don't punch them right here on the side. Don't punch them in the back of the head, uh, top of the skull. Don't do that. If you're going to punch somebody in the face, make sure it's around like the eye, around the eyebrow, around the eye socket, the nose. The nose is a good one. You punch somebody in the nose, you break their nose. Usually they stay on the ground. If they're a bad motherfucker, they're going to get back up. Uh, lips okay. Uh, jaw? Jaw can knock somebody out. Um, if you knock somebody out by hitting them in the jaw, they might just shut down and hit their skull on the ground. That could kill them and you can go to jail. So if you are going to punch somebody, like try and go for body blows. Uh, body blows aren't that effective uh, unless they uh, are weak and then it's like boom right to the gut they lose all the air they, they fucking go to the ground the v1 voice has uh what up, like, very low latency v2 voice has a little bit of latency that's why there's a little bit more delay in uh the skull room area. level that's crazy V3 sorry but no <laughs> pug is unavailable between it's much better than v2 going back to writing all right bro um i don't think it's quite as good as v1 but you can bully chat uh, b2 chat get GPT. Down, potentially but it's, it's it's good enough that um full like, power if it's three seven motion, beyond repair I yeah we should be able to do it pretty smooth. I mean I mean that's why I personally don't just fight people like you never know you never know what could happen. I always try and de-escalate. Bro, I used to be the guy when I walk into a room, I'm like scanning the room. I'm like, okay, if, if some shit was to break down with this guy, how would I beat him? How would I beat this guy? How would I beat that guy? That's a big motherfucker. Let's look at his legs. Let's look at his knees. I could probably take his knee out. Like I was always scanning the room for threats, bro. Now I just chill. I, I chill out, bro. I still do it, but I just chill out. <laughs> yeah, toe up, uh, toe up, bro. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. True story, yeah, yeah. That's a good time. <laughs> I was weird as a kid, bro. I'm still weird, bro. <laughs> Playing basketball? Two tomboy. Toa's a tomboy? I thought she was just hot. <laughs> one on one match, you say? <laughs> now was the time. Since the sports festival, that's re- that's fairly recent, right? The sports festival is very recent. So I'm guessing uh, the, this Kohai hasn't really watched uh, at least like Toa. Love your songs and streams, but it's just not that. Okay. Oh, it's sexy. I agree. The sexiest woman in Hollow Live is right here. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Hot take. I know. Hot take. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't faint after looking at a dead cat. There's been a dead bird just sitting in my street. Like every time I go out, I'm just like, yeah, that dead bird's still there. I'm like, I'm thinking, should I get rid of it? I'm like, nah, nature will do it. Or somebody else will do it. I'll see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The VTuber Awards? The VTuber Awards happened? Oh, why didn't nobody tell me? We could do the VTuber Awards. I thought the VTuber Awards were in December. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I just see that False made a video saying the VTuber ro- a new rule 
Bro, you gonna introduce a new rule one month until it comes out? That's a little fucky wucky. <laughs> it will bring back the dead bird? Well, I, I should get rid of the dead bird again? Tell me some Vietnamese uh, uh, folklore. The, what's the dead bird? I had pigeons at my house. I've been trying to get rid of the pigeons. I think they finally gone. I got rid of their nest. And there's been a dead bird sitting outside my house. Are they mad because I got rid of the nest or what? <laughs> they sacrificed one of their own. They need to do a <laughs> voting. <laughs> they only made a sight. Okay. My cosplay, my cosplay friend who lent me a Lyra costume was cosplaying as Toa. So cute. Yeah, you should take photos together. Take photos, those are memories. You use four emails to vote? That's called voter fraud. <laughs> That's called voter fraud, Lily. You better have voted for different people with those four emails, young lady. Get it ready. It attracts unwanted souls. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go get rid of that bird after this video. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna throw it, throw it out. Throw it, throw it I don't want any spirits coming here. ごめんけど。まねして。女ってことか。え、そうだよ。え、だからすごい難しいでしょはい。そんなわけ、わけなくして。はい、じゃないのよ。今日このために <笑> And I like taking him to the vet because he gets lots of compliments. <laughs> Everybody He's so cute. loves Snail. Your cat's name is Snail? They all say how handsome he is and how good he looks for his age and how good he looks, period. <laughs> but he was very scared. Proud was, cat mom over here. He was trying to hide. In his Who else room. are proud of their, their, their pet babies? It's They're like, yeah, my pet baby cute. To put him in his carrier at home. He does everything he can to not go in the carrier. <laughs> but as soon as he's at the vet, the carrier is his... My Yoki's a bitch, damn. <laughs> his last remnant of home. And he wants... He does not want to leave it. One of my old cats... I ain't gonna lie, I used to be jealous when I used to take my dog out, Clyde, because he's like a German Shepherd mixed with Rottweiler. He's so cute. I'll show you a picture. But like when I show when I always take him for a walk, bro, I'd be so mad because all the girls they'd be like, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so I'm like, what about me? <laughs> what about me? <laughs> what about me? Am I cute too? Like, what kind of shit is this? Where's my photo of him? Hold on, I gotta go through Facebook. My mom be sending me photos of him still. Um, um Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my dog. He's adorable. But I'd be like, come on, man, why don't, why don't I get any love? Why don't I? He getting a little chunky. That's what he look like. He getting a little chunky. My mom don't take him out for walks no more. I used to take him out for walks. Boy, get in. Chunky. Look at him. But I'll show y'all the photo. When I, when I left, this is what he looked like, bro. He would get all the girls. He'd get all the bitches. Look at him. Just like his pop. Look at him. Look at him. He got that dog in him. He got that dog. Look at his eyes. He know he get bitches. Look at him. He had that dog in him, you know what I'm saying? He got that dog in him. All right, where? Hold on, look at him. Look, this is was this was Christmas. Hey, you're so happy you got a bowl for Christmas, yeah. We used to put a shirt on him and everything, though. Yeah. Are you a good boy? Yeah, he good boy. Yeah, yeah he's a good boy. All right, let's continue. <laughs> he's so handsome. Look, everybody say he handsome. What about me? What about me? <laughs> See, here they go with that bullshit. He's so handsome. Hey, dude, whatever. Whatever, man. That's a thing. Sink cats. Men. You going to bed? Damn. Men. Damn. Also, me taking a shower. That's fucked. <laughs> shower i don't feel like and i'm too lazy but i have to take one once i'm in the shower i never want to leave why would i leave this place of warmth and comfort is anybody else like that with the shower same with bed oh i don't want to sleep 
I want to stay away. Don't be jealous. Thank you. <laughs> Motherfucker. That's why he out of shape and I'm not. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I miss him. He was supposed to come here, but my mom... My mom was supposed to take care of him for a year and then she got attached to him and now I can't have him. <laughs> what the hell is... Ebu tax. What did you sing today? I don't even know. They they asked me to do chop suey. Humans are ugly. I'm You're one away. What? I hold on. What? Hold on. What? Hold on. Let me read that shit. I didn't even see that. Wait. Nah. Hold on. Where is it? Nah. Who said that shit? Humans are ugly. X49 said the humans are ugly. You're one of them. I know. <laughs> I don't really think this motherfucker. I'm one of the humans, is what he. I don't think um that they would, would not be very. Uh, I don't think my manager would appreciate I that don't one. Think so <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Yes, what one is? What one is that? Which one? The toxicity or chop suey? Banana. Chop suey. Two thousand years later. Oh no, my manager sent a face M. <laughs> Wait, why did they get in trouble? Let me read. I do chop suey, but I and you chop suey. I I know. Uh, you don't like doing chop suey? Pornography, <laughs> but I don't really think <laughs> it's a violent pornography. I don't think um. Probably because I sang some lines from um, violent pornography. Oh, crap. <laughs> Nothing wrong with chop suey. Technical foul. We're all defeated by dogs and cats. Not me. Not me. Mario Kart? Alright, let's go. Oh, <laughs> fucking hate Rainbow Road, bro. There hasn't been a good Rainbow Road since Mario Kart Wii, bro. Mario Kart DS and Wii were the last good Rainbow Roads. Can't change my mind, bro. The rest of these Rainbow Roads are ass. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> you too, not me. Nope, not me. Speak for yourself. Nope, nope, not me. You gotta have confidence to be me. Sometimes overconfidence. <laughs> あ、<笑><笑><笑> Well, damn. Well, yeah, get a dog. Dog won't leave you well, unless they want to. <laughs> Pets don't usually leave, but sometimes they do. I didn't get the reference. Damn, Lily. You never play Mario Kart? This is one of the games that ends friendships. Loki! Every Mario game can ruin a friendship, bro. Every Mario game. Mario Party, Mario Kart. Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Mario Baseball, all those games ruin friendships, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> On top of Uno and Monopoly. <laughs> Donkey Kong. A man life like a dog. Yen, if you look hard enough, you'll find a man that'll be down bad like a dog for you. No problem. I can see you already walking your human around. He's on a leash and he's like, yes, ma'am, you're the greatest thing ever. And you just love it. There, there are men like that. There are men like that that exist. They will do that. You just gotta look hard enough. <laughs> 
止まらねえよ。狼止まれ一回。おい、お前、おい。What do you mean question mark? Y'all, y'all, y'all never seen a grown ass man be on a leash for a woman? Y'all never seen a, y'all never seen that grown man on leash for a woman. Where is this shit at? Here, here. This is what Lily Kim wants. I mean, this is what Jennifer wants. Yeah, this, 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 this exists. This exists. Yeah. This, this is legit, bro. This exists. Bro. <laughs> this, this exists, bro. That's real. That's real. <laughs> I'm not that delusional. Somebody will be. Someone did that at your school? No way. You're shitting me. Somebody did that at school? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. That's crazy. Look, to do it at public in a public place is one thing. To do it at school, bro, that is, bro, you committed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my bad Kim. My, my bad Kim. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Kim was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want that shit. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> Happened twice? He was barking? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> what? Look up Miss Trigger who... She has the followers you're talking about. What? Johnson, you can't be giving out that information for free, bro. You cannot be giving out that information for free, bro. This man giving out the sauce. Miss Trigger. Whoa! What is this? This is twerking. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! No, I ain't playing that for stream. No, y'all ain't getting me banned. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. A man with a dog. I'm not really into that. Oh, okay. Well, there's some dog ass guys out there for you. You can dog them out. Join the dark side after this. I don't blame you, bro. Bro, he went out of his way to do that. <laughs> bro, went out of his way to do that. <laughs> <laughs> bro went out of his way to do that one. That was a little unnecessary. Bro, this TikTok clock. I hate this map. Goddamn, TikTok clock. Super Mario 64. Now that is a furry. We gonna watch some furry videos later so we can see what it's really like at these furry conventions, bro. I wanna see what it's really like, bro. What it's really like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard some crazy stuff like the furry conventions, they be pooping and peeing like in the in like the hallway. I need to know if this is true, bro. I can't believe humans would really do this. This is not real. This has to be like the bad eggs, bro. They gotta be the ones making the community look bad. There is no way this is like a normal thing. I, I wanna give them a benefit of the doubt. I don't wanna be the person that's like, yeah, they do this, they do this, and it's not true. I wanna find out for myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I ever talk about it, I could be like, yeah, no, I've seen it. You know, y'all, look, every time I do these reaction videos and I say some crazy shit, I literally pull it up as proof, right? Like I recently been doing, I be like, oh man, y'all don't believe me? And I just pulled up the leash, the the the, the girl walking the dude. That's proof. I, I, I wanna have proof whenever I say some crazy shit so y'all don't think I'm making it up. Proof. <laughs> There's a dating show about furries? Why the fuck do you know all of this? I apologize for my outboys. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for my albums. It is Jana. Pokemon level of beautiful. Nah. No, you don't. No, you don't, Yen. You don't need to be as beautiful as Pokemon. You just need to have the dominance. You need to. You need to put on your big girl panties and be like. Yeah, you do what I say, you're a dog. You need to put on some high heels, get some leather and some whips, and they will come to you. They will crawl to you. 
You say, down, dirty dog, and you slap them. You'd be like on some sit boy shit from Inuyasha, and they will listen. Oh, tell, 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 tell. They will be like, yes, ma'am, <laughs> Mark Farley. <laughs> you gotta wear the pants. <laughs> Your wife watches everything on Netflix when she's bored. My issue is that shit's on Netflix. <laughs> that sounds like some YouTube shit. They on Netflix promoting it? That's crazy. That is crazy, bro. So be a Karen? Nah, don't be a Karen, bro. If you're gonna be a Karen, you gotta be like a sexy Karen, bro. You gotta like, instead of bitching at everybody, you just need to be like, yeah, I don't like it when you do that. And then that's it, just stand on business, that's it. Don't complain about it, Karen's complain. Like a real bad bitch would be like, I don't like that. And that's it, like, I don't like that. Like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was crazy Mario Kart, bro. That's how Mario Kart be. We got another. I don't want to play this game anymore, man. I'm just a being, just being a fucking burden. I'm so sorry, whoever you guys are. <laughs> this man, Gerard, Gerard T-Rex. I'm so sorry that you have to put up with my bullshit. Let me speak to your manager. I'll try. I'll try. Tori ain't here. No. If Tori's here, Tori's working on some shit. Okay. <laughs> Gumbari. The channel manager is not here to, to change anything. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. This time I'll be patient. This time I'll be patient. You know what? Fuck that. I'm not gonna... go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I do need to get keep an going. official manager, though. I do need to get an official manager. I'll get one next year. Sorry, I lost my composure over there. Like an official manager be like, hey, be careful with what you say type shit. I'll be like, all right. All right, boss. Why? Bro, Jar. You ass at this game. No wonder why the kids be beating you. Game, Bro, he is man. ass at this. Look at this. If you fall off again, you ass. All right, cool. I can't even reach my Ain't nobody by anymore. you. Fuck Come on. Sake. Come on, Gerard. I don't... Bro, you ass! I'm so fucking dead last. Ass! Please, please you gotta help. Ass! Alira better. I am not fucking this up. Alira! Ass! Yes! Stop What's the qualification? Moving. I'll stop moving. Nah, bro, you can't be my manager. You family, that don't count. <laughs> You're gonna be like, yeah, it's okay if he says that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay if he says that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me cross the fucking border, man. Let me meet my oh fucking my God. family. God damn it. Damn it, I just want to cross the Wait, border. Wait, what dream fantasy? Oh. I could hook you Dude, up, probably. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's not talking about hooking me up with a girl. He's talking about a manager. Weirdo. Fuck you, Ian. You're the girl we're talking about. This. I don't deserve this. I literally don't. I've been carried so fucking hard. Yeah, you have been getting carried, bro, because that's crazy. That performance was terrible. Thank you for clipping that, Ike Man. Appreciate it. Thank you for showing us. We're talking about Pekora. Review for a column. Usada Pekora. Yeah, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> it ain't no way. <laughs> you shitting me. <laughs> Ain't no way that's the real Uzada Pekora reviewing shit online. Bro, bro, if, bro, that is the funniest shit, bro, because I be doing that. I dead ass, when I go to a hotel and they be like, do you review this hotel? I legit, I legit will review the hotel, bro. I will legit, legitimately review the other people be like, five star, best place ever. I'm gonna be like, mm, uh, like, bro, I'm not that harsh of a judge either, bro. Like, literally, amenities works for me bro if you got a gym even if it ain't big or if it's not good bro i'll be like they got a gym it's not good boom like they do they give you water in the refrigerator if they give you water in the fridge and they restock it when you come back when they change the sheets like easy bro like if you restock the free water boom you automatically get in like you get in brownie points that's just how i do it other like bro if i go to your hotel bro and i open the fridge and there's no free water bro i immediately like this is a three star 
immediately. This is a three star, bro. Y'all don't even give free water. That's how I know some other shit's gonna be whack, bro. Like, no. No, you can't give free water, bro. Three stars. Immediately. Immediately, bro. The Gordon Ramsay reviews. You goddamn right. I, I take that shit serious, bro, because like other people traveling too, I don't want them to spend some money on some bullshit. Like when I buy shit, because I got platinum on like the, the Agoda. If y'all don't know what Agoda is, it's like hotels in Asia. And like, bro, I go to them and that, like they give me deals, bro. Like a, a hotel room that would be $100 US will go down to like $40 US. But normal people that don't have platinum, they gonna pay the $100. So I, I go, when I go for 40 bucks, I'm still reviewing it. And I'm like, blah, blah, blase, blase, good or bad, three, three or four stars. This is how they could improve. Cause I know the people that own the, own the place, they look at the reviews cause they've responded to me before. I'm like, okay, this is how you can improve. And then done, that's it, that's it. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, I want people to know. <laughs> I used to do that. I got a couple videos on my channel, hotel reviews. I would review the hotel and I put it on YouTube, but I stopped doing it because I got bored. <laughs> yeah, see, marked it as helpful. Yeah, see, that's what I do. Yeah, that's why I do reviews because it's helpful. It's helpful, bro. How many times have I look? Every time I check for a hotel, I check the reviews and I'll be like, all right, they say it's good. They say this is it. All right, I go. And if the shit is really good, I'll be like, yeah, this is true. It's really good. Yeah, for real. And if it's ass, I'll let y'all know. Be like, no, nah, it's ass. Like, it's you only get this if you like desperate. Like when I was in Korea, the hotel I was at was pretty fucking mid. Like you telling me I'm in downtown Seoul, the capital of South Korea, and y'all don't even like refill the free waters, bro? Like, come on, bro. Like even in Thailand, they refill the free waters, bro. Like, come on. That's a fucking flop. And y'all ain't got no gym and y'all don't got laundry. Like, bro, like what the fuck am I in this hotel for? Why am I spending this much money for a hotel that's ass? But the hotel by the airport was way better. And I gave that one like a four, four and a half, maybe even five star. That shit was legit. You could legitimately live in that other one because they had a washer in your room. They had silverware. They had plates, refillable water. They had a lounge area. They had upstairs. They had a, a gym. They had everything by the airport. And I was and they and it was 24 hours like downstairs because it's like people moving all over the place because it's like a city. Downtown Seoul shuts down like like damn near midnight everything in downtown seoul shuts the fuck down bro how are you in downtown seoul the capital of south korea and everything shut down like that doesn't make no sense <laughs> no i just hate you i can't tell yeah do you really hate chaotic and if so why and if you're joking like, is this one of those I love you type of jokes? Like, I really want you or something like that? I, I just want to know. I don't know if y'all really hate each other. You having fun while Yen and Flo are fighting? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they legit or not. I mean, the, the, this video is about me, not about them. So if they fighting, that's just extra entertainment. <laughs> You, you telling me I can watch this guy talk about real life shit? I can watch waifus and people in the chat are fighting? Bro, this is gold. <laughs> On the level of seriousness, no, I don't hate him. Look, now we know. Now we know every time Yen's like, fuck you, I hate you. She's just joking. So it's not even that big a deal. She want me to die. Looking ass. <laughs> Jeep is fine. Why don't you trust me? Jeep is fine. A Bebo and Kalel. Flip, let's go. Jeep. Oh, Jeep is still here. Jeep. Are you okay? Oh, you're just like, you're looking at me today. Imagine calling a sheep Jeep. Jeep. Jeep, Jeep always loves you, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, look, look, as soon as Kyla comes by, Jeep looks like Kyla. Did you see that? No. <laughs> in COD, because I know you don't play Minecraft. I hate you in COD. 
I mean, you've got so many I mean, friends. I okay. <laughs> Call of Duty is a game that can end friendships. Deep live that is also true. Life here. Almost. I have to call my Jeep sheet. So close to greatness. <laughs> Are you ready to have a kid yet? Because you're already giving out dad jokes, bro. <laughs> if I have my shaders on and I enter the portal, I can definitely like crash into Minecraft. So I better go first. You gotta go. All right. You have fun, Kim. Be safe. Enjoy. See you later, Kim. Bye. Arigato. I don't know your your computer. my laptop again ever since I was back in Indonesia. Yo, I know something. I, I told my pre-chat this, but I tried to buy, like, a new PC. I like how she said pre-chat. 4090. 4090? Okay. How would that go? But how did that go? They wouldn't let me, because my bank was like, Oh, she doesn't spend this much money ever. So they wouldn't. <laughs> so they canceled it. That's funny, bro. The bank's like, aren't you supposed to be poor? You can't afford this shit. This must be a scam. That's funny, because now Bibu got money. That's funny. I, I, I haven't bought the PC again. Shout out to Bibu. Her pocket's fat. Her like, head hey, fatter, though. Let me buy this thing. <laughs> That's why you got cash. Cash is king, baby. I always go to the ATM. I always get cash. Always. Always get cash. Cash is king, baby. Compulsive buyer. Great. I guess so. Like a really compulsive buyer. I don't really spend too much money, and that's why the bank was like, Same. "What is this?" this Same. This totally is Same. I normally spend more money on other things than myself, for real, for real. Like that's why my 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 room looks boring as fuck. But we got emotes and sound effects. I spend more time and effort on the stream and the chat and the videos and the thumbnails than my own fucking room. <laughs> like that's that's facts. <laughs> I honestly, like my credit score used to be uh, before when I was in the military, my credit score was like 700. And then when I got out, my shit dropped to like a 600 and then like a 590. And now I think my credit score is like back to like a 680 and I don't even use it. Like I have not really used I've used my credit card for little things uh, for fucking two years. And now it's like going back up. <laughs> credit score is bullshit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> It's like throwing a chair in the boondocks. I don't think these people really seen the boondocks, bro. A lot of things I had to put them on game for. I don't think they've seen the boondocks yet. I haven't shown that many clips from the boondocks. All right, that's daily clips. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah, and you don't got a, uh, you don't got a, uh, VPN? All right, let's watch the news. <laughs> let's watch the news, bro. Hell yeah, we're going straight to the news. Where you going?
Been in the news. Let's go ahead and on check it out. Oh yeah, yeah. VTuber awards. The VTuber awards. Are that is the question being so, asked yeah. today? All right, you have a good night, Pumpkin. Sanji Englishes. Yeah, this is why like the streams are like because Pumpkin got to go to bed. Normally, I'd be. It's 1 p.m. for me. Normally, I start stream like normally within like literally the past like three days. Um, I'd, st I'd start streaming at like 9 a.m. 9 or 10 a.m. Recently implementing a brand new rule, a new rule onto his streams, that being rule number keep, six. Wait, keep chat relevant to the stream. Do not go off topic unless I ask specifically. It includes trauma dumping, which is never allowed. Don't bring up topics that are controversial or political. Anything related to me, however, is fair game. I am not obligated to thank donations. I will try to thank as many as possible. Do not send more asking me about previous donations. <laughs> Bro, imagine donating. They didn't see your message and you're like, let me donate again. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Be kind to one another. No. <laughs> don't go, don't get too attached. I'm a dangerous creature and I don't want to harm any people that I already have. That's hey, that's real, that's real shit, bro. Uh can't offer warnings for specific triggers, so please watch at your own discretion. And remember, it's okay to skip a stream if you're distressed slash uncomfortable. Yeah, watch at your own discretion. Like that should be obvious. Not every stream you watch is gonna be enjoyable. You know, even though it's, he's your favorite content creator, you might not enjoy what he says that day. Like, yeah. Reading, I can't That's offer normal. warnings for specific can, triggers. He, yeah, so yeah. please watch at like, your own discretion yeah. and remember that it's okay What's wrong? to skip a stream What's if you're issue? distressed or uncomfortable. This coming after recent is the Discord the, the Discord's not letting you guys know? All right, we need to get that fixed. And Vox Akuma had role-played himself experiencing health scares on stream, including suffering from a panic attack and even vomiting. Vox, during a recent stream, saying that he had originally intended to simply change the coloring of his eyes to indicate when he was role-playing, but is instead simply implementing a stream-wide role about role-playing. That explanation on stream, receiving loads of very 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 long reply bro i am not reading all of that i am not reading all of that so shout out to whoever reads this for me guys in the comment <laughs> section on youtube or yeah, shout out to uh, whoever can simplify what what they're upset about somebody give me a like two or three or four or five different simplifications it's now coming in regarding this new role such as i sure love watching a streamer look at those and articles exactly if them vomiting or calling their therapist is real or not jokes aside this is how you get people to skip all your streams but if it makes him happy well whatever good luck to the kindreds that being the fan base name for vox akama further we have so basically, so okay basically you just have to watch until something suddenly becomes uncomfortable basically. that's unsafe for viewers that have anxiety or other triggers that, that that is true i mean bro you can't babysit everybody that's the thing bro vox you cannot babysit everybody and a lot of people are going to be mad at this Bro, bro, what can you do? You can bend your knee and like do everything you can for the kindreds, but there's gonna be always new people or people that come in or people that used to be your fans and now they hate you, bro. Humans are subject to change. And if Vox Akuma wants to change, you guys are either gonna have to change with him leave or just stay the way you are until you eventually leave bro that's Longer just how it is more that's just how it is bro. such as okay you want to go down this road fine i know you're a stubborn mother effer i expected this i expected you to double down on this but you're being incredibly immature over this and i think it's really funny that you're being such a jerk over a simple content warning to indicate which stream will be role playing and which will not which helps us feel at ease the, the thing is like Say he is doing a role play that day and then he actually gets anxiety and then he starts throwing up like at that point. What do you do? Like, bro, like the show must go on. Like, this is why I say VTubing like this. This VTubing needs to be taken seriously because. As a, especially in corporate as indie, it doesn't really matter. But for corporate, when you have a fan base like this and it's like they watch you because they want to be more like immersed in a world. They want to be immersed in the RP or immersed in whatever uh, whatever content you're creating for them, right? This is what they love. And if you change it, they're gonna be really uncomfortable. But this content that you do and what you did do and what you, you know, successfully, you know, made money from and marketed and, you know, became successful from, without, regardless whether you're doing it for financial gain or you really do it for your own entertainment, you know, I'm not here to say what's wrong and what's right, but what happened is you created this fan base. And if you're not able to successfully keep them the way that they are, 
whether it's your health reasons or whatever, whatever reason is you cannot keep what you're doing, what you're doing, which is Vox cannot continue doing the RPs like he has because he got a warning from from YouTube. YouTube said, hey, here's a warning. So basically, if he kept continuing to do the, the RPs like the ASMRs, how he was, he would literally lose his channel. Right. But I don't even think honestly with the Kindred low key, I'm not going to lie with the Kindred. If the, if Vox Akuma lost his channel, I feel like it wouldn't matter. Because he could start up a Patreon and the, the, the fucking Kendra would totally be fine with it. The issue is he's a corporal. He doesn't just do ASMR. He does collabs with other people in the company, right? This is why I say it's different for a corporate. So regardless of whatever happens, Vox, you need to keep your career intact, but you need to have your personal life and personal matters intact even more so. So yes, you're going to lose fans. Yes, you're going to lose numbers. Yes, it's going to make you go crazy. But at the end of the day, if you're able to wake up the next day saying, hey, at least I'm being a little bit more of myself and that keeps me sane, in my opinion, that's good enough. Will the numbers suffer? Yes. Will the, will the followers suffer? Yes. Will people be upset like Titulo or whoever? Yes. But this is what happens whenever you choose this career. And this is why I say VTubing is important when it comes to Corpo. They need to have professional um, psychiatrists on, on board. They need to have their finances in order. They need to have their taxes taken care of. So all they can focus on is their career. Because when they all they focus on is their career, they can think stable. They don't have to worry about their taxes. They don't got to worry about their mental health. They don't got to worry about if food's going to be on the table. They got to worry about if they're going to get fired. Because someone else, their manager, is taking care of all of that. And as a million dollar company that should be a billion dollar company, Nichi Sanji should already have that on deck, in my opinion. The doctor call, the vomiting, which by the way, I still thought was real until yesterday. And oh, it the wasn't real? Panic attack for us Wait, who what? Care about you as a person. This is such a slap on the face. We're not asking you to add specific content trigger warnings, just a simple quote, hey, I'm gonna RP this stream. Heads up. Further reactions include as someone with So I didn't watch the I didn't watch it. Like somebody let me know because did he have a fake panic attack? Like, bro, faking your mental health issues is not the route to go. I will tell you, like, point blank, Vox Akuma, if you are faking your panic attacks and stuff like that, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's real. Whatever. I don't know if it, if it was a real panic attack and then you faked it and it was like, no, no, it was part of the RP. I think if you're faking it or you say it's fake and it's real, bro, you're signing yourself up to literally die. You are signing yourself up to die. I am not joking. I am not kidding. This is not a game, bro. If you're faking your mental illnesses and they are real, you are setting yourself up to die point blank period johnson if you'd like to chime in because johnson is actually studying psychology he is going to be a psychiatrist so if you would like to chime in and give any of your your input even though he's still training he's in the training right now like I, what i'm saying is just what i what i feel like is the wrong thing to do as someone who's taken therapy who's been in therapy who takes um psychedelics you know this is not a good idea because vtubing already blurs uh, real life and imaginary just being vtubing but now you're taking mental health into effect we don't know if vox akuma has mental health issues or if the person behind it has mental health issues and if you're going to be vox akuma bro it's definitely important to state when vox is online and whenever whoever you really are is online People quote hey i'm gonna RP license professional stream. counselor sorry my fault that that's just that's the title i'm gonna be a psychiatrist he's gonna be a professional counselor heads up further reactions include as someone with autism who has a really hard time yes picking up cues yes this is literal hell yes because your fan base also have mental health issues they cannot tell what's real and what's not and guess what they're just gonna run away because they don't know what's real and they don't know when you're faking it and it's gonna make them insane so the, i behoove you if you're a kendrick and you have mental health issues and you struggle, if you have a love-hate relationship with Vox Akuma, it's better off if you just leave. Because the route he's going, unless he can figure out for himself, you should take yourself into account. Do I like Vox Akuma? Yes. Do I think his movie was one of the greatest films I ever saw? Yes. But he is still a flawed human being because human beings are flawed in general, right? So he's going to make mistakes in his career. He's going to make mistakes in his personal life. And as a, a human being myself, I'm talking to you, the kindred, you should pack your bags or start packing your bags to leave to find someone else. I'm going to keep it real with you. Vox may not be for you. And I'm not saying come watch me either because I keep it real all the time. And I know a lot of y'all don't like that shit. So don't come over here. Find somebody else. I don't I don't know. There's literally VTubers all over that do a whole bunch of shit, bro. Go find someone else, because unless you plan on staying with 
box of Kuma your whole life, you got to be ready to ride or die. You got to when the ship when this when the ship is sailing, it's sailing. When it's sinking, it's sinking. And if you a Vox uh, Kindred and you say I'm a Kindred for life, then you got to you gonna have to be on that boat whenever Vox Akuma take off his captain hat and he's no longer Vox. He's whoever he really is. And you got to ride or die. You said you the Kindred. You ride or die. It is what it is. Oh, pouring one out for the Kindreds. Best of luck, you guys. Along with I've never been. You can so always not watch all the time. The true. Content my Kami that is true. Has been putting forward in the two years I have been watching him. This is honestly getting ridiculous because how are people going to know when to skip? Politely, this rule would be fine if it weren't for the health scare anxiety inducing RP that he pulled recently. Yeah, that because you can't tell what's real and what's what's not real when it comes to something like anxiety. Anxiety just happens. Anxiety is literally the fear of like stuff that's not happening, the fear of the unknown, the anxiousness that builds up, right? So how can you tell when that's real or when that's fake? Okay. Streamers should have unless a they say it's not real before ha warnings, before beforehand. Like yeah, like like just add the warnings, bro. At this point, yeah, just add the warnings. And that's like that's his rule. Like I can't tell you when it's gonna when I'm gonna warn you or not or when it's gonna happen. And it's like, yeah, that's true. I agree. But as a corporate, you know, this is why I say I was on Kel Conoco's side. I agree with what Kel Conoco said. They the Koreans were being sensitive in that case. But at the same time, bro, you are a corporate. You are not allowed to say shit like that. I can say it freely because nobody holds a contract under my name besides YouTube. As long as I'm not breaking any YouTube guidelines, I can say whatever I want, right? Regardless if you get mad at it. Regard, it doesn't matter. Same thing for Vox. I will say whatever I want to say about Vox Akuma, whether you like it or not, as long as I'm not infringing on YouTube guidelines. But Vox Akuma is putting your health in jeopardy by not adding a warning. Yeah, bro, I agree. You don't have to put a warning, but as a corporate VTuber, Vox Akuma, you need to do that. If I was your manager, I would say you need to do that. And I get it. It, it, it doesn't seem fair. You're a human being. You have the right to this, this. You can be emotional, blah, blah, blah. I agree. I 100% agree, bro. But you're a corporate. You don't get a say. I was in the army. Yeah, I'm a soldier, blah, blah, blah. Mental health, family day, blah, blah, blah. See your family, blah, blah, blah. You get off early today. But I knew at the end of the day, if I needed to be called back into work, I'm going to get called back into work. If it was two in the morning, I had to put my fucking boots on. I got to put my fucking boots on. If somebody attacked, I got to get ready. Like it just it just is what it is, bro. That's that's the life you signed up for when you said I want to be a corporate. And if you did not know that, like Biggie Smalls, if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Planned stressful RP events that now could happen on every stream. We don't even know how to interact with him at this point. There's little to no organic conversation happening since almost everything is roleplay. What are we supposed to go off of? How are we supposed to know what to prepare for? I assume most mutuals know I'm Vox Defender number one, but it's getting kind of <laughs> ridiculous. There's a difference between- Bro, if your number one fans are saying you should stop, you should stop. I ain't gonna lie. Your number one fans, those are your day ones. Hey, I agree. You should be able to do whatever you want, Box. But bro, if the day ones are saying chill, you should probably chill. Being able to content okay. warn about a okay. game. If any of my day ones was like, bro, you gotta chill, I'm gonna be like, all right, bet. Not <laughs> being able to content warn about something you yourself are adding to your content. We also have, you're joking, right? Mother effer, you control the triggers as they're part of your RP. The least you yes. can do is offer a trigger warning yes. beforehand. But yeah, doubling down is the way to go for sure. Effing ridiculous. I'm sorry, but what? What if English isn't your first language? language or you can't pick up cues well i might as well never watch again and lastly he's That's a true. great actor too good to yes. the point where it becomes hard for even he's a good actor to tell the difference between yes. role play and reality but if he wants to do this then by all means sure i'll be skipping every single stream then this and vox all i can say is this is great for you personally but for your brand this is absolutely terrible so which one do you want to prioritize you or your brand you can, you can, I, honestly, you can do both. You can do both. You just got to sacrifice. This new role health. receiving backlash, perhaps like Vox has never received before. As now numerous members of his fan base are now wondering needed. if they'll watch another stream ever again. And speaking of acting, Nitisanji English has made... I wouldn't say it's great for him or his brand. I think it's great for him and his... Uh, I say it's not great for his brand, but it's great for him mental health-wise because now he can more re he can more relax freely in theory. He just needs to weather the storm, low-key. Like, everybody is mad at him, and that's not good for his mental health right now. But if he sticks to his guns, he will eventually have a fan base that agrees with him. 
It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. As long as you keep saying it long enough, you will create a fan base. This is why I say what the fuck I want to. And even though it says eight viewers now, five years from now, it might still say eight viewers. But 10, 10 years from now, it might say a million. You see what I'm saying? And I have nothing but time. So I don't give a fuck. Like, that's the difference between me and a corporate. I can afford to not give a fuck because I'm I already made it. You know what I'm saying? I already made it. I have what I want. I could just sit here and scream at videos all day. But Vox and other content creators don't have that luxury. That's why I say YouTube. This is something you either got to get lucky with. You got to start it early or uh, somebody shouts you out. bro, And then you got to run with the shout out. Like, yeah, there's there's several ways to make it online. But he's a corporate. He ain't made it yet. Your corp people think you corporate. You made it. Nah, bro. After you get out of corporate, then you can say you made it. Is this Gotta announcement wait. opening up an acting focused VTuber comes audition out, think, yeah. until Sunday? December you need a balance. 10th. You this do. unique round of auditions also getting the attention of Vox Akima's fan base, such as this one saying not to be dramatic, but if this has to do with Niji recognizing the potential of lore and acting, I'd like to think that Vox has reached his goal of bringing new things to the industry. Not saying it's all because of him, but it's nice timing. That reaction also receiving backlash, such as I still can't believe his fans think that's why the acting focus auditioned open further stating quote nobody has been hardcore with their lore in the entire industry of vtubing until vox akama came along he paved the way imagine being this i uh, i need somebody to fact check this one because i like bro i like vox bro but i don't know if he's like the the one that sticks to his lore the most bro like i don't think so like y'all I, I don't think so bro i'm sure there's other vtubers that stick to their lore way more bro it's stupid listen I don't to know. yourself i don't know reactions though. such as luxium fans not because i ain't gonna lie vox is pretty chill like he separates the lore and his personal feelings a lot i've seen enough clips of him talking about his personal life to know he ain't always on top of his lore or acting like he's just really whenever he does it he's very successful at it but I don't think he's the one that's like, yeah, man, the Vox Akuma, that's that's the guy. Like he he's done some amazing things. I'm not gonna sit here and say he ain't he don't do nothing. He does some amazing things. He came out with a whole fucking movie, bro. Right? But I'm I'm pretty sure there's other people that take their lore seriously too. Gations as the original comment. It's not nothing new, yeah. To clarify, I wasn't implying it was 100% because of anything Luxium or any member of the group has done. I just noticed a general trend towards more lore-driven things. Lore heavy VTuber is not gonna fly. With Vox expressing he'd like to. I think a lore lore-driven VTuber, I could be very successful. Look at Rushia. Rushia was very successful with what she was doing. Right, pretending to be a girlfriend, oh, getting engagement rings. She Rushia would be on top of the world. Rushia will be the person I said is the best VTuber, like lore wise, and being able to cultivate um like a, a drone base, like a drone fan base that just loves her to death. Right? People were, were literally like, bro, they were doing some crazy shit for Rushia, right? Like, yeah, but we saw what happened with Rushia. She cracked, she let her mask fall off for a second. And it all went downhill. She let it slip for a second. That's the that's the risk you take when you do lore. That's the risk you take whenever you have one thing, and like that is what you're known for. Because when that slips, oh boy, word of hurt. So yeah, it could be definitely very profitable, but long way. So the industry, the potential. Rushia became a voice actress this much. Shout out to Rushia of acting and who is also on the search for more potential is the virtual talent academy you should watch anime effort underneath niji sanji's watch parent anime. company any color to find new vtubers to train and potentially even recruit into niji sanji at this time there are only two public facing students left the virtual talent academy in its entire history having 50 students in all 17 of which who have gone well, on action to okay niji sanji japan including three new members two who who have kept their names from the VTA days and one member since changing their name before debut. That yeah, I remember the these three coming out soon. Opening not one, not two, but three different auditions. Mm, these auditions yeah. running until December 11th, with the first being a normal set of auditions, another set of auditions entitled Super Elite Liver Auditions, saying we are looking for a wide range of candidates from doctors, lawyers, beauticians to businessmen. As very lastly, they also have an audition open for mascots saying we're looking for people who would like to take on the challenge of becoming a mascot liver once again yo hey 
Hire me. I'll do it. I'll be the mascot. Again, these auditions happen <laughs> until December 11th. That December 11th. Bad. Liver, I'm going to fill my paperwork out. I want to be a mascot. Ninja's Zia. Having this past weekend, now graduated from Niji Sanji, giving us a oh, very seven. stylish adios. Oh, hell and yeah. The Naruto to the wall. Handwritten goodbye. At the end, saying, This is the end of my story, but not yours. So don't be sad because your story is still going. This ex Niji Sanji talent also saying wow, on she's stream cool that they in tend to further focus 07. on music production in their future, okay. as what no longer has a future is the Liverse Liars manga. This being an manga? entire multimedia series based on Niji Sanji talents, but they don't have the same actual personalities as the talents. It's a <laughs> Uh, this is why I say it could pass, bro. Like, if you find some VTubers that are one way, and you make a manga about them, that's way better than making a manga and then finding someone to fill the role. Way better. A little complicated. The official but humans account are letting us know of the discontinuation of the manga, commenting that the editorial department of the magazine in which this manga was serialized in has decided to suspend the manga. That oh. all while light novels are still expected to be released. And next up with Niji Sanji English, we have Selene. All this about Niji Sanji, what happened to the, uh, to the, to the vote, the vote thing, the VTuber Awards. I thought we were going to talk about the VTuber Awards. I care about the VTuber Awards, not Niji Sanji. Hatsuki, whose birthday Niji is been... set for this week, and who is also... All right, well, there's the Niji Sanji news. Shout out to Selene. Happy birthday, Selene. Where's the, where's the fucking, the VTuber Awards, bro? That's what I want to, that's what I care about. It's from False. I'm looking right now. Raimu and a uh, Niji Sanji voice pack, Melee, Nukaza. Hmm. Just Google VTuber Awards. This one. Weird controversy. I didn't watch that one. This one? It an artist exposes He has this one. Artist calls out Niji Sanji. Stop streaming, mascot. I mean, some of this was already covered in uh, in Kel's video. Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was something going on with the VTuber Awards. Hmm. Oh, I'm checking. I don't see it. You need to vote. I already voted, bro. I already voted for the VTuber Awards. I'd screen if required when logging in. LOL, people got their shit doxxed. Oh, these are the actual... Wait, am I logged in? Wait, am I logged in? Oh, you want me to vote? Oh, okay, 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 vote, okay. So this is the voting process. Okay, okay, yeah, we could do that. 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 Okay. All right, we could do. 
All right. All right, so the VTuber 2020 awards and voting, bro. Let's go ahead. I'm going to cast my vote. I'm not going to know a couple of these names, but it's okay. The VTuber that created the best music original content. Um, Original content? Bro, I'll be sneaky, 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 sneaky. Come on, Mori. Boom. Best art VTuber. I don't know. Is this Annie? Is this the one that made uh, Neurosama? Because then I have to give it to Annie. Like, right, come on. Niki, 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 Niki. Best FPS VTuber. Chu Yamino, Otan, or Selene? Mm. Overall, 1v1? I'm going to give it to Botan 1v1, low key. But Botan 1v1. I've seen Selene pop off, bro. But I've seen Selene also get carried, bro. <laughs> I, I, I've also seen Selene get carried multiple times. <laughs> Best Minecraft VTuber. Uh, Kayla Kowalski, dude. Yes. That freaking Minecraft uh, Netherite freaking beam thing, bro. Yes. Kayla Kowalski, 100% Best Minecraft VTuber, bro. When it comes to like dedication and grinding and creating something, bro, Kayla is easily, yeah, easily, exactly, easily up there bro easily bro i will say shout out to uh bibu for like winning that that tournament though that was pretty fire though best role play asmr voxakuma cinder cottontail fauna now out of all these i'm only familiar with voxakuma's asmrs so i technically have to give it to to him i have no idea if uh fauna i i don't know i have to go listen to him but i'm gonna give it a vox because that's the only one i've heard and it actually is pretty good even though it's like it makes me laugh <laughs> It, it, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Best just chatting uh, Zatsu. Best just chatting? Why am I not on there? Matarakan. Boom. Uh, but Matarakan, bro. <laughs> Best tech VTuber. Vettel987, bro. Or, ooh, wait. Hmm. New limits, bro, Vettel. Vettel, look, bro. Code Miko. Code Miko. She does, like, interviews. Project Melody be fucking on cam. Zentrea be having fun and just having playing games and showing off her big button tits. Battle, he created Neurosama. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funniest VTuber. Chibi Doki. I'm going to give it to Chibi Doki. I think Zentrea is funny too, but Chibi Doki is a different type of funny, bro. Like, Zentrea is funny and Chibi Doki is funny. They both are really funny. I don't know who Murder Crumpet is or Kuro Kuranai, um, but bro, Chibi Doki is pretty fucking funny, bro. Polka, Polka ain't all here, bro. Most chaotic VTuber. Hobo? No. Pippa? Yes. Pippa? Yes. Like, bro, Tricky Wee, she, she crazy. Chibi Doki is just insane. Kobo is crazy, but Pippa Pipkin, Pippa, Pippa Pipkin almost died on stream. Okay, she was fucking around and finding out so hard she almost went to the hospital. Okay, Pippa Pipkin is the most chaotic VTuber. I'm amazed Tim was not on here. League of Their Own, Onigiri, Full Moko, Zentrea, Hosho Marine. Hosho Marine, League of Their Own, bro. Hosho, like, just like all the names, bro, Hosho Marine, bro. Like, I love Zentrea. I love Full Moko. They are adorable, but they they new to the scene. Onigiri's Fire. I love how she has other guests come on her show and they cook one of their dishes and then she tries it out. I like Onigiri. I love her content. I really do. But when you say League of Their Own, I got to give it to Hosho Marine. I got to give it to Hosho Marine. I've seen, but like, this is for 2023. Like... I just started VTubing in 2023, so I don't know. I've seen a lot of Hosho Marine's old stuff, but even her latest song with Gura was really good. Hmm. I'd love to see Oni win. I feel like Hosho Marine got enough votes. I'm gonna give it Oni. Because I'm pretty sure Hosho Marine got a I'm pretty sure Hosho Marine's gonna win. But I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give Oni the vote. Uh Hidden Gems. Ufu. Aichinzu. Yeah, I don't know. These are really hidden gems. Average less than 100 viewers. Yeah, I don't know who these people are. I'm gonna skip this one. Rising star, VTuber uh, astounding growth throughout the year demonstrates great potential for the future. Enya, bro, Enya's already established, bro. Cinder, Amila, Baby Ruthless. I don't know who Baby Ruthless is. 
I'm going to give it to Camila. I feel like she could do it. And I also think Cinder could do it and Henya, but Henya's already established. So I feel like Henya doesn't count, but I want to see Camila have a great future. Uh, Miss VTuber, the VTuber whose fashion sense is trendy as their content. Iron Mouse. Amelie is up there too. Alira is fire. I love Alira's outfits, bro, but Iron Mouse, bro. Iron Mouse, yes. Uh, best VTuber org. Ooh, recognize the collective of VTubers who work seamlessly together to create engaging and diverse content. Engaging and diverse content, bro. Engaging and diverse. 2023. Engaging and diverse, huh? Ooh, hoo, hoo. this is a tough one. This is honestly a tough one, bro. For 2023, engaging and diverse. I've seen V Shoujo do some in interesting things um, as for like contract wise, but when it comes to their content, it seems like just fun, normal content. Uh, Niji Sanji, recently, recently, what have they done? Re they did the Prism Cup, that was fire. They did, they've done a lot. Um, Hollow Live has done a lot too, but I've seen some crazy shit come from Hollow Live, man, with the. With the 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 swim uh, the the summer the summer the summer hollow live like like pull up with IRL girls and VTuber three D model half naked girls music video like bro that shit was fire like I gotta give it to Hollow bro I gotta give it to Hollow personally rising VTuber org face connect uh, those are the only ones I know so I'm gonna give it to face connect because they got Tenma uh, VTuber Clippers. Bro, Cooksey, bro, y'all down bad. Low effort clips, bro. I'm gonna give it to low effort clips, bro. Shout out to low effort clips. Cooksey, bro, if y'all vote Cooksey, y'all just down bad, bro. Uh, Roach Chan is fire too. I love Roach Chan. Uh, Sakin Sandayo. I don't think I know this one. Wait, is this the one that goes? Let me see. Sakin Sandayo. Let me see. Am I subscribed? I am subscribed to Sakin Sandayo. Okay. Um, let me see. I know them by their like their their outros. Let me check real quick. It's the last thing you want to find in your oh. burger is three thousand eight hundred seventy six street. Wait, this is the one that made those crazy fauna videos, right? The one with like the hitman and stuff. Let me see. Oh no, they didn't make hitman. Wait, they made. Uh... I see, I see they've just, they just only clip Fauna though. Low effort clips, uh, I'm gonna give it the low effort. I'm gonna give it the low effort clips. Oh no, oh no, did my stream crash? Oh no, this thing's not fucking moving. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, did my stream crash? Hello, hello, can't move. Can't move any of this, you good? Why isn't this thing working? I'm clicking, nothing working. Probably gotta close it. The fuck? My clam, my cam is glitching. My FPS are dropping. My PC is like literally going kaput right now. My PC is going kaput. Let me open up a new browser. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll just crash my PC. I don't know. Mm -mm. My PC going kaput. Okay, well, there's my video, uh, Parent of the Year. Okay. I do want to continue. All right, this is going to be a part one. I'll do a part two when I come back from, from the crash. I'm not going to stream it. I'm just going to record it, and then the videos are going to go up. So everybody, y'all have a good day. Have a great day. Uh, y'all have a good one. I'm going to end stream because my PC is going kaput, but uh, the videos will go up soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. All right, y'all be safe.